Hello, welcome to everyone. In this video, this is the part four for uh, nanomaterials and applications of 2022 question. Today, I want to discuss about question number five and six. You can see the total question paper of 2022. This is question number one, question number two, question number three, four discussed in last three section, last three video. In today, I want to discuss this question number five and six. Let's start first question. We say script uh, grip brief outline of solgel method for synthesis of nanoparticle discuss its limitation. Solgel method means this is a this is the chemically best route for uh, making the nanomaterials. This uh, solgel method have two uh, process that is the pin coating and deep coating. Pin coating means uh, you have if you have a precursor. You take a uh, drop on the substrate and the substrate holder spinning. Uh, 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 substrate holder is spinning. And they, uh, if you drop this uh, precursor drop by drop on the substrate and then take an oven and uh, heat it up again, drop and oven and multiple times it will be repeated. And finally, that uh, the, the thin, thin, uh, or the, finally, the substrate will be annealed by the furnace. So this is the total process for spin coating and by this process these types of uh, coating or thin film actually originated or the uh, prepared and another process is deep coating. Deep coating means the, if you have a immersion or the material uh, solution you immerse the substrate and uh, taking out and process to evaporate for drying finally you will be obtain a thin layer on this. So these are the two process uh, that is the spin coating and deep coating uh, by these two process these two both are the sol gel method that means there is a sol and another one is the uh, gel sol gradually evolves towards the formation of gel like dysphoretic system containing both liquid and solid phase. The limitation of sol gel methods is uh, uh, the limitation of sol gel method are like that. It's a need to high purity material for this uh, effective the, and the mineral based mineral, uh, material for iron source. Since it is a multi step process, it requires regular monitoring. It is difficult to avoid wage group and residual porosity. So, these are the limitations for sol gel method. You can read down or write down in your notebook. Next question says Describe the basic working principle of molecular beam epidexy. Molecular beam epidex is the uh, vacuum chamber uh, deposition. That means you need to a chamber which need to vacuum by uh, rotary uh, by the diffusion or thermomolecular form back by rotary pump. After vacuum this uh, system, you need to evaporate this uh, target material and uh, within the substrate this will be deposited. How? There are uh, here we example for four. If you uh, hold some material target material and different target material and heat it up uh, and there is a shutter system if you wants to layer by layer system you can uh, stop down the evaporation to the uh, substrate there is a substrate holder so if you heat it up in a material suppose silicon uh, then silicon material will be observed uh, material silicon thin film will be developed but if you wants to uh, silicon oxide say in the, you, you need to know uh, you need to evaporate two types of material or you can see suppose boron doped silicon then you need to evaporate silicon and boron and you need to open shutter boron as it's very small so that it, it act as a uh, it, it is act as a uh, dopant in the material okay so these are the uh, total uh, setup and the working principle of molecular beam so you can write down this note to your exam purpose here total are written here here another thing is RHEED RHEED means reflection high energy electron diffraction this is used for observing the characteristic of thin flame during the growth process when the uh, thin flame is growth uh, growth then what uh, characteristics or what mechanism actually happening within this during growth process you can observe from this RHEED that is reflection high energy uh, electron diffraction method. So that's it for 
मॉलिकुलर बीम एपिडेक्सी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन से व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय अंडरस्टैंड ऑफ कुलम ब्लॉकेट इफेक्ट एक्चुअली व्हेन व्हेन यू नो द व्हेन द साइज ऑफ नैनोमेटेरियल रिड्यूस द बैंड गैप आल्सो इंक्रीजेस फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी नो अबाउट दिस थिंग बट देयर विल बी ए टनलिंग इफेक्ट थ्रू द क्वांटम डॉट सपोज देयर इज टू थिन फिल्म within that two thin film they are generated a quantum dot at the quantum dot the band gap is high so the conduction from one thin film to another thin film through the quantum dot you need to tunnel that is quantum tunneling happening here but sometime quantum dot sufficiently small then a single electron cannot passes through this quantum dot even through the tunneling effect so this size this effect known as coulomb bracket effect that means does not get any current that is the electron blocked here this is the coulomb bracket effect that is after reduction of the size of quantum dot even a single electron cannot passes through this material through this quantum dot through tunneling process this effect known as coulomb bracket effect and condition to coulomb bracket effect is like that the capacitance within <coughs> this quantum dot must be less than square by kvt <coughs> another condition that is the resistance this mean current is resisted by this quantum dot it current cannot flow through this quantum dot that mean they are produce a resistance and this value will be like that so these two are condi condition to observe the coulomb bracket next question based on the coulomb bracket uh, numerical question so asked that calculate the maximum temperature hat which coulomb bracket is observed in a tunnel junction having C equal to one picofarad. Also estimate the maximum dimension of the device to observe Coulomb bracket at the room temperature. Actually, Coulomb bracket we just uh, say that this is the condition. Use this condition, you will be obtain this temperature. So this is the temperature at which maximum temperature we will observe. So you can see this is. how much low this temperature so you need to go to this how low temperature to get the coulomb and another question estimate the maximum dimension of the device to observe coulomb bucket at the room temperature so when you use the room temperature the capacitor will be like that here the area will be d square also because the quantum dot as a uniform size as a cubic size like that so this is epsilon not d so d equal to c by epsilon not put this value c epsilon not will be often 698 nanometer so this is the diameter of the material to obtain coulomb bracket effect at the room temperature so that's it for today in the next class will be continue the next two question also this is all about me this is my contact detail this is my youtube channel detail so thank you leave me to the next video as soon as possible